Hello everybody, it's Pete from Tom Linson's Property Services uh, and DIY Home Help over on YouTube. If you've not subscribed to us yet, pop over to YouTube, hit the um, like button and the subscribe button and we'll keep making the videos basically to help you out wherever we can. Um, today we're talking about cutting in um, and getting a nice crisp line when you're decorating. Um, I tend to like these type of brushes when I'm cutting in. Um, it's angled, it gives you quite a bit more control um, and you get a, a nice crisp finish. So basically what I do, if you can imagine this is the line here that we're trying to cut in and separate white from the blue. Um, we pop the brush on, push, and then we pull towards the line that we're trying to achieve. So we push, squeeze it over, the brush, because it's fully fully loaded and fully spread out, it's not going to go and bleed into that line because it's at its maximum. So, and that'll enable you to get a nice crisp line. What we're going to do, we're going to load a couple of videos up where we've, we've actually done it in real terms um, on jobs, what we've done, just to give you a rough idea what it's like uh, live. So, I hope this has been of some use. Top moment. So this is a typical example of cutting in. Nice and smooth, we spread the brush and then work it towards the line that we're trying to achieve. You don't have to have an angled brush, it's just that I particularly pr prefer one. If you do all the outside edges first, that's the hard work done, and then work it all into the middle to get a nice, flat, even finish. A superb cut here close to the skirting board nice and smooth spreading the brush pulling it towards you it just makes it so much easier and keeps it in control and if you can't do it yourself or you don't fancy doing it just give us a shout and we'll come and do it for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button on youtube if that's where you're following us uh, and thanks uh, thanks for watching